shading, shading, more shading. Yeah, shading on the house, partly shading on the roof, and and more more shading on this side of the roof as well. But hey, there's the sun. I definitely need more solar. And welcome. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to the off-grid garage here in sunny, hot Australia. Look at this weather again. Huh? Some smaller clouds there. Apart from that, pure sunshine today. Yeah. Charging with all the panels I have. And in today's uh, update video, I want to do a little bit more testing with the Hyundai shingled panels we have because I have now connected them in series here and they are charging our big battery. As you have seen in the Victron VIM for the last two weeks, they are connected to our big battery with another solar charge controller here. We've got the pull fence here and the shingle cells, temporary setup, charging our big battery. Yeah, and um, looking at the numbers, 700 watts we are getting from the shingled and only 400 watts from the pool fence system. Yeah, as you can see, there are still a bit of shading from this palm tree here on this fence system. But the time is over for the pool fence solar setup. Winter time is over. The sun is already far too high in the sky. See, it's almost, almost above us already. There's not much shade left here from the garage roof. Look at this. And we've got um, uh, 11.30, almost noon time. So we have 800 watts here and 1140 up there against the fence. But a bit of shading as I said, but still less than half the power output than the shingle cells in pure sunshine. And this actually leads us a bit to a conclusion as well. If you have a look at the other systems, the west roof for example, um, let's go on the roof. So I'll put you on super view for the moment so you can see the full system here. So there's no shading on any of these panels apart from there's a bit of shading on from the cactus on this side. But full sunshine here, full sunshine on the carport. Bit of shading still there but this will come eventually as well. And we've got full sunshine here on the east roof as well at the moment. So three roof space in pure sunshine. Perfect conditions. Well, and the shed is still partly shaded here, but you can see the sun will come around from this side as well. And it will be in full sunlight in the afternoon when we have shading here on the carport and parts of this roof again. So we really have a bit of a staggered production in solar power here in this location. So the new design is now that we have um, five strings of the shingled panels on this side, five on the other side, four on this shed because it's shorter than our garage and we have um, and we will have some other panels on this roof here these are the phono 540 watt panels so two of them in series as well and uh, three strings and this will cover the whole carport here as well and they will be on a 10 degree angle that is more so that the water can run off and the dirt and everything so yeah you never mount solar panels flat, you know, that is not good. Looking at these numbers here, let's um, do a bit of a prediction what we can expect from the new system. You can see in the middle is the Hyundai shingled solar panel setup. These are two in series, so the same setup as we will have here on the roof. And at the moment we are outputting around 700 watts with these two panels. And because we will have five strings of them in parallel on each side of the roof, 
So this will give us around 3.5 kilowatt on the west roof and also on the east roof. So 7 kilowatt all in total here from the garage. At the moment I'm getting east roof 1500 and west roof 258. So this is like 3, 4, 4 kilowatts at the moment and then 7 kilowatts what we can expect from the shingle solar panel. So this is quite uh, it is a huge increase in solar power. And we will have four strings of them on the big shed, which will give us another um, seven times 2.8 kilowatts under these conditions. Plus another around three kilowatt from the carport system, because this will be a bit larger than the one on the big shed. So the expectation would be around 13 kilowatt under these conditions again. All in total, if there's no shading, nothing. And at the moment we are getting 5.1 kilowatts from the whole system, including the pool fans and the shingle panels on the driveway. So this will be an increase in production at factor 2.5 around. And when the electrician told me we will have two of these panels in series, uh, I was a bit concerned because um, because we are charging a 48 volt system, so so we need 55, 60 volts at least to charge the battery. And I looked at the specs and could see a 38.5 volt in the maximum power point times two makes then 60, uh, 76 volts only. Well, if one of the panels is shaded, the voltage will not be high enough to charge the battery actually. So the performance of the whole system may go down having only two panels in series. And there's quite frankly not enough space on the roof to have three panels in series. But I was, I was looking at the VG series until the electrician told me, no, no, it will be the UF series. And having a look at the UF series here, we can see we have 41 volt in the maximum power point so three volts higher times two six volts higher we are over 80 at 82 volts and this sounds a lot better to me to charge a 48 volt battery and here we are having a quick look at the history of the shingled panels on my driveway and since i set them up yeah there was here there was here 1.88 3.05 kilowatt hours on one day two panels 2.2 1.3 2.1 but look at this here, 972 watts with two panels. And uh, here having another look at this spec sheet, 9.76 amps in the maximum power point. And at the moment we are producing, at the moment we are producing, here we're getting that. Yeah, 9.76, we are at 9.9, 10 amps at the moment, two in series, perfect. And you can see the voltage is also not too low with about 70, 75 volts. But now the big question is still, what happens if one of the panels is shaded, right? We've got them in series and one of the panels is clearly not enough to charge a 48 volt battery because the, the maximum voltage in the power point, no, the voltage in the maximum power point is only 41 volts, which is lower than our battery voltage. So um, let's introduce some uh, shading. So we have our two panels here and I will be the shade. And interesting to see that the current is going down by 50%. But we are still making 358 watts. Okay, what about if we shade both? Shading is not enough. Look at this simulation! So it's very interesting to see that the voltage is actually rising to around 80 volts but the current is going down by half and even, even each panel can do 10 amps. I wonder if they don't have any bypass diodes if it is a different technology or something because usually they should kick in on this panel now and we should see the full 10 amps from this one side, right? I mean, we're still getting 500 watts. Wow. 1.8 amps only. I really want to see if I can shade one panel completely, but not cover it. This will never happen in real world. 
Ooh, 70 watts only. That is not good. Okay, let's um let's measure the current coming from these two panels. Uh six what is it? Six point three, six point four amps. Yeah, okay. If I um, cover one completely, this one should still produce power and the bypass diodes kick in and we should still see roughly the same amount of current. But um, we clearly don't. We clearly don't. 1.4 amps. So it's pretty much the same effect with these panels as well. Because we are charging a 12 volt battery here so the voltage should still be enough to charge. Let's um, cover the other one up. Yeah, same, 1.4 only. Okay, it goes down drastically. Let's do the same here, I think it will just stop. Yeah. So at the moment we're seeing 9.7 amps. And now we are seeing 1. Point, what is it? 1.6 amps. Okay, from one panel. I wonder if it still charges. Oh wow, it is still charging. We've got 80 volts on the panel, 1.6 amps. Yeah, that's what we just measured. 130 watts still coming from this setup. Even one is completely shaded, but the, the cloth is not really... Uh, I'll get a second one. Total, total unrealistic scenario. I, I don't even know why I'm doing this test. This is stupid. Oh wow, it is still charging with 6 watts. Even one panel is completely, absolutely covered. It must be still producing some voltage to get us over the 55 needed to charge the battery. Huh, interesting. But still totally unrealistic. I mean, nobody is going on the roof and covering one panels of the string like this, you know. That there might be a branch or a cloud or something on one of the... This, this is totally stupid. Okay, let's see if we get any peak power. Nah, not really. 720 watts, but the panels are hot. 60 degrees we have, which is um, 141 Fahrenheit. There you go. But we have solar power coming in of 1.3 kilowatt per square meter. Almost 1.3. Nice. Well, guys, at the end of the day, it seems like um, the panels will not stop producing power even we have this ridiculous shading of one panel completely covered with two sheets of cloth it is still producing six watts then so i guess uh, we should be good uh, we can see the shading is slowly coming in now on this carport roof here we have still maximum sunlight here maximum sunlight on the east roof and we will have maximum sunlight on the shed as well now well, this one gets covered more and more now in the afternoon. So that's great. I'm, I'm still a bit concerned if this is all working as designed because we have only two panels in series, but we, we have tested it now and it works just fine. Andy, everything will be good. Uh, we are producing 5.1 kilowatts at the moment uh, with all panels in full sun. And with a new setup, as we calculated before, it will be around 13 kilowatts now. At this point of time, we have got the carport and the big shed now in full sun as well. And we will charge the batteries with around, it should be around 200 amps then, right? All in total. 200 amps divided by, th that's 65, 65 amps per battery bank. That is point, that is point, point four, point four C, a bit more even. I need more batteries. Anyway, it will be a lot of energy coming in. We will see. Yeah, I'm, uh, as you can see, I'm just trying to talk to someone about my concerns <laughs> with this new setup and if this will be all working as per design. I, I guess we've got another week to be concerned about this. 
before they actually come and deliver 28 of the shingled panels and six of the phono half a kilowatt 540 watt so and until then until then guys we have a lot of work to do a lot of preparation work uh, because we will get two more solar charge controllers i need to do the ducting for this put more fuses in here connect them to our dc bus bar and also i'm working here on the connection between the shed and the garage because we uh, clearly need to have a um, connection here somehow uh, this will be in the next videos then i'm still i haven't made up my mind yet so i'm just uh, trying different things at the moment well anyway guys thank you so much for watching thanks for all your great support here some amazing people out there thank you very much and also thank you very much for listening yeah i guess this was the final testing with the shingled panels the next testing will be when they are mounted on the roof so i will make heaps of videos when the electrician comes in of course here during the installation see how everything works together if everything works if we can fit everything in there this will all come in the next couple of videos then it will be super interesting until then guys you stay charged stay safe and thanks again for watching see you then bye bye uh, got 83 amps outside <laughs>